I'm a teacher who walked off my job. I'm a kindergarten teacher in a tough city and I specialize in working with severely traumatized children. I came to a charter school mid-year and inherited a class that had gone through four teachers in. Was generally difficult to work with. I'm talking non-stop fighting. Screaming. Running around. I turned that around in two months. I created my own art projects. Behavior charts. Games and songs. I came in early every day and fought through these kids cursing me out and slapping me in the face. To earn their trust kept showing up kept being kind to them. Kept celebrating their successes stayed calm no matter what. Got nothing but praise from our dean principal and families. Well then I found out I was being paid less than the other kindergarten teachers. Who had less credentials than me. I spoke to our CEO and she swore she would write me up a new contract for the rest of the year and agreed it was unfair. Then when I reminded her she claimed we never had that conversation. Then after delaying our contracts for next year later and later she handed me mine. It was an envelope with a slip of paper that says I don't have a position next year. I walked out and took the next two days off. The principal and dean were totally blindsided and were under the impression I would 100% be rehired. They even wanted other teachers to observe me. I don't think people understand how bad the state of teaching is. I love children I love what I do but I'm tired of fighting to even be paid one quarter of what I'm worth. My school is so cheap they don't even have chairs or space in the break room for us to eat our lunch. Many teachers have to eat in the hallways. I would bet all my measly paycheck I was canned for speaking up about being underpaid. This is why charter schools are a garbage option that should never ever have had public funds diverted to them. I think most people are really starting to understand how bad the state of teaching is and we hate it and we probably feel just as powerless as you to change it unfortunately pensive face. Wow. There is something incredibly dystopian about a school with a CEO. I feel awful for the kids. But I don't blame you. Charter schools are a blight on society. UNION that's what is needed coast to coast in the US. Teachers pay in the US is sick. Should be at least around 50 kelvins. Min for low cost of living areas. It generally seems to be near 30 kelvins. For a job you need a good bit if education. And not even like start low and escalates it quickly after getting some EXP. It starts low and stays low. I work as a library para in an urban public high school. A very violent urban high school. There have been two off-campus student deaths since February alone. I am paid 17.83 an hour. The position requires 48 college credit hours. Yes. Requires 48 for 17.83 an hour. The only reason I took this job is to get experience as a librarian and it's a union position. I have summers off and 12 days of sick time to use during the school year. It isn't enough for the daily violence. Physical and verbal. There are no repercussions for students who threaten teachers either. Security barely even shows up for fights anymore. This isn't just a problem for charter schools. It is everywhere. This is by design. Republicans have been defunding education for decades to get it to this state so they can privatize it. Both charter and public will be this way because there is no profit to be made. I'm sorry this happened to you. You didn't deserve to be treated that way. My mom was a teacher in public schools when that was a good career. She advises anyone who asks to not go into teaching. No one respects teachers anymore and they get paid like everyone else in this country. Poorly. You said CEO of a charter school? They only care about money. Those kids are nothing but dollar signs to them. Notice there is a principal. Dean. And CEO? 
The CEO exists to skim about 30% off the top in what they call, profits. Normally it's money that would circulate in the school system. But being privatized, charters are written to include a management company they have to pay to use the charter. It's siphoning money, plain and simple. They are a pustule on humanity and I hate charters. I know it's harder to get into public schools and they're not much better. But no charter out there exists for the kids. Republican plan. Impose charter schools all over. Claim they're a good replacement to failing public schools. Siphon tons of money off of the public school so that it does indeed fail. Kick out any of the kids with issues or who just don't fit in. Eventually you have a very clear class divide between public school and charter school kids. Further defund public schools. Complain that charter schools need more money so convert them to private schools. Further split the class divide by outpricing many kids' families. Public schools at this point are a heavily policed holding tanks for kids so their parents can all work many hours. Raise entire generations of two classes. Wealthy educated kids who know how to continue to game the system and a huge class of those who have little to no education and only know how to follow basic instructions at a job. Slavery in the making. They want you to be stupid. I L O O O O V E the uneducated, stupid orange man. Teachers are paid with tax dollars. Taxes are bad. Therefore, teachers should be paid less. Conservatives, libertarians, retirees on fixed incomes, people without children, and a surprising number of liberals, including members of this subreddit. This is the reality of charter schools. They charge the state per student and cut their budget to the bone to make a profit. They don't give a shit about your kid's education. I'm sorry you went through that. Our treatment of teachers sucks. Teacher here. I get how you feel. I taught one year in a nice charter school and my mental and emotional health have never been so low. I would wake up and hope to be in the hospital rather than go to work. That's when I realized it's not my fault. It's the system. Somehow I managed the entire year. And I left to teach in another country. Best decision I've ever had. Going back home in two weeks for summer vacation. Flights paid and summer paid. America is the worst to teach in. Just don't. It ain't worth your life. I am being the annoying European here. But the American education system just seems insane to me. I am British and our schools have their problems. But in the States it seems like your schools get barely enough money to keep the lights on. What shocked me especially were the SATs. Still not 100% sure what they are. But the students don't write anything. They just fill in answer bubbles and they go through a machine. Are American teachers going to just be replaced with YouTube videos eventually? You spoke to the school CEO. That's the problem right there. Schools should not be a business. Period. I'm not an anti-capitalist by any stretch of the imagination. However I do believe there are certain industries that should be non-profit such as schools in hospitals. I remember talking with one of my favorite teachers in rural Alabama 30 years ago and they admitted to making $30,000 a year. In the area in which we lived that was really good pay but sadly 30 years later doesn't seem to have changed much. Okay so I should expect to get disrespected. Paid less than my peers. All of whom were white expect me. And laid off because I signed a charter contract. I am anti-charter. I didn't want to work at a charter. I make less money at a charter than I would in a public school. But when public schools in my area penalize you for showing children kindness and are literally making PPL sick by exposing them to asbestos I don't really have the choice to be union. If you want to judge the working class for having to work in poor 
Non-unionized conditions I agree maybe this sub isn't the place for you, because you don't get it. You are one of the people who genuinely care for children and the next generation. Thank you. It always both hurts me and amazes me how schools care so little for the next working generation. And the people who are supposed to teach them. Those students never actually learn anything helpful either. To be frank I don't remember much of anything I learned in school. None of it ever helped me get a job. And the teachers never got respect. From either the higher staff or from the students. Or were ever paid enough. Heck. We had teachers quit mid-year and one even straight up committed suicide. It was horrible. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.